All right, so hey guys and welcome. Welcome back to Mafia 3. As most of you know, we just finished the game yesterday and typically I like to take a break after I finish a story before I jump into the DLC. But considering that this game has been just really that good, in my opinion, I wanted to at least tackle one of the DLCs and then see how it goes. And if it does really well, then we'll continue it somewhere along the line. But I definitely sometime want to finish all of them. But at the moment, I want to pick one and focus to that one because there's going to be a lot of games coming up and I might be a little bit too busy and I don't really want to half ass this game. So we're going to go for one of the DLCs. OK, there's three of them. I think the one that I want to choose is Stones Unturned. I did a little bit of research and the reason I want to do this one is because you actually get to go somewhere else in the map. Like you go to like some crazy island or something like that, which we did in Red Dead Redemption 2. And that was one of my favorite things about that game when we left, the, you know, the actual map and went to like a crazy island and i don't know it, it, it gave me that and that, that impression so i definitely wanted to try out this dlc here for you guys i don't know how long it is more or less i think it's about two hours so it might take us about an episode or two at most but uh i'm really really excited we're gonna get to business okay i don't know how difficult these missions are so i'm calling my backup to get uh my money sorted get my weapons sorted and we're gonna get straight to business I, I don't know why I'm actually choosing this outfit, by the way. I, I just feel like I feel like this is an outfit that probably Lincoln Clay would use now that he's pretty much left this part of town after the end of the story. And he's on his little getaway. And whether it's a good getaway or not, I, I feel like this is something he would wear. He'd be very tropical. Although I, I do feel like the ending gave us an impression that he was just a guy on the run that never was able to find true peace. Which is kind of sad. I don't know for sure that we're going to get another Mafia game. I really do hope that eventually we do. And I would I would like to see more of Lincoln Clay. I, I do feel like it would be really cool as for like a Mafia 4. If they focus the story on what happened to Joe after Mafia 2. Although that could also feel like it might be like a DLC. But maybe they can make that into a full game and see the life that he lived and how he changed. And we saw that at the end it was him. He's alive and he's pretty much he works with Leo. It's like crazy shit, man. I loved how everything just came. Everything just connected at the end. Everything was it was great. A creature of habit. I want to make sure that Okay, stones unturned. I want to make sure that this is the right DLC. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. The man, the myth, the legend. You hungry? Donovan. Because I just ate. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure. I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French ward. A place called Villa del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. A lot of you told me that this is what the game should have been like. The, these DLCs are strictly good missions and no filler. Someone I know? No. Nah, Ex-company pal Robert Marshall. As a line and an asshole we worked with before your time, a man by the name of Connor Aldridge. I remember the name. Two of you had some kind of fallen out. The fallout would suggest there was a time when we were in. You're dragging my ass around town because of it. something had to go down. Look, all you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitor's cocksucker who got good men killed. And if he's a new Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap blowjobs. Never <laughs> Right, here we go. Your taste in music leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah? But when I want to know what you think about my music, I'll smack you upside the head. I'm sorry. I can't listen to this anymore. I'm not even playing music. That's the funny part. <laughs> I think we're here. It looks so weird, dude. <laughs> Where the fuck is Marshall? Hey. Bro, that's hilarious. Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert Marshall, Johnny Boy, and I work together at the company. Excuse me. What? You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat, and you didn't take it. Oh. Ungrateful fuck. <sighs> Sorry about that. What the hell? Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. 
Is that a cattle prod? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skips shit themselves. Well, I keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little Birdie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark-skinned compadre. Let's go. I look so out of place right now. <laughs> find Balmana. All right, let's go find this asshole. Looks like someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Oh shit, it's barricaded. Oh! God damn. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? That is not Balmana. Whoa, so it says the notes. Each night my head hits the pillow. Know that I'm thinking of you, my love. My dreams are filled with images of your body. The sensation of my hands running along your thighs. Your hands on me. Your lips meeting my lips. You're all I need. And no man, not your father, not Fidel, will keep us apart for much longer. What kind of sick fuck shoots up a birthday party? Aldridge doesn't see the world the way we do. There is no order and there are no rules that he won't break. That's why I had to get away from him and that life. Feliz cumpleaños. Means happy birthday. Are you sure about Marshall? Man, Yo. seems kind of tilted. Tilted? Nah, he's good. Hey, this uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, is he? Oh, wait, no. That's, uh, that's his brains. Hey, oh. this fella down here has got his brains and his perjoles. Okay. Bro, yeah. can you, can, do you want me to go Maybe up or down? A little off. Gotta be somebody up there. Oh. Balmana's upstairs. Oh, for sure. For sure. Here we go. Poor bastard. Blood trail. Okay. Excuse me. I mean, we're acting like we haven't done this. Obviously, it hasn't been as bloody because the game didn't show it, but we've killed more people than this. Easily. Over there. God damn. Meet Horatio Balmana. <sighs> Shit. Really? What? It's an Upman. Balmano was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. Balmano spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here. Tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Oh. I got him. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Paradise Lincoln Clay don't fuck around. Try not to kill this one, Lincoln. Hey, you see my outfit, bitch? You're fucked. Hey, you're done. Oh. You don't you don't mess with Paradise Lincoln Clay. I'm telling you right now. Slow more driving. So apparently the, they introduced the slow more driving and all of the nice perks that I was able to use in the main game. Those were only introduced in the DLCs. That's what I read. Stop this guy. By the way, I know that you guys told me there was no secret ending after giving all the districts to Vito, but we got the secret cutscene, which I believe is part of giving all the districts to Vito, how he ruled after the fact that Lincoln left and all that stuff, which I personally enjoyed. Stupid shit. No bullshit missions? I like it. <laughs> Let's go straight into the cutscenes. Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. I'm gonna kiss you. Fuck you Imagine. You you? <laughs> Come on, I got someone who wants to talk to you. Don't kill me, bad. Don't worry. He starts making out with him. It's damn good bourbon. That, that would have been hilarious. Oh, is that an upman you're smoking? Goddamn right it is. <laughs> Moving up in the world. <clears throat> who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. 
you let people call you Chucky? <laughs> Why would you? You know, forget it. There's a dead man upstairs named Balmana. Yes, so? So the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright, are you, Chucky? Oh, fuck! Oh. You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? A how. A what how? <laughs> I, I don't know. A how? I refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. Then he gave him a name, Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it. He, he, he told another man he was with that they need to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. All my mother. That mean anything to you? Pedro Pong's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. All right, let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. <laughs> Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Oh. Stand up. Sniper support, nice. Need a target taken out. Marshall. Oh, that's sick, dude. You can't tell me this story. Wow, that's cool. Very cool. Bad. Welcome to the show. Something rotten. We need Definitely. to get to the safe house. Look at all the cigars here. Ooh. The Pedro Pan safe house is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Drive to the CIA safe house. Oh, what a beautiful car. Oh, sorry, ladies. You know, I didn't really... I just got my license. It's been a long way. Uh... All right, never mind. I'm, I'm just gonna shut up. You're dead. Who cares? From the looks of that restaurant, Aldrich has some well-trained men working with him. No surprise. Cocksucker was always partial to freelancers. I never could see the appeal of using mercenaries myself. Didn't see you complaining when that Noong MSF battalion saved our asses last year. Those are some mean motherfuckers. Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly, but wouldn't last long if they were. God damn it, I left my cigarettes back at the restaurant. Brother, you need to get yourself some love. Your ass is wound tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing I'm winding my ass is a bullet in that motherfucker's head. All right, talk to me. Why the fuck you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give me any of that traitorous fuck shit. Because while all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. Shit no one else knows about. Oh, the things we've had to do for our country. Oh, fuck you, man. Don't give me the God and country speech. Save that for the goddamn front. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us. But we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. Okay. All right. Fuck it. But I ain't promising to let this go for good. <laughs> Whew. Damn! We're here. What happened here? Fuck! There's the way in down here. It's usually guarded, but under the circumstances, we should be okay. Oh. Of this place. The primary offices are outfitted with a mainframe computer system. What Aldridge is here for it's likely to be located there. Yo, thank God I have the freaking um suppressed pistol. God damn it! Come on, Donovan. Keep it together, bro. You're about to, you're about to see how it's done. In case you forgot. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, they got suppressed pistols here, so. You see what I did to your friend here? <laughs> yes. And are you going to be the same defiant motherfucker whose brains are going to rain down on this earth? No. <laughs> Good. <laughs> No, let's go. God damn it. Okay, so I gotta kill every last agent if we don't do something. Then let's go stop. Huh? Got him. Just 
drop down. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. What? Oof. Why is it not? One, two. I think you got the last one. I like this. And you remember how we talked about on the last episode that we really had no missions with like another character on the side, like accompanying us. Well, here we go. Now we have it. This is, this is freaking great. Following you. you better follow my lead. Sneaky it is. You already know. <laughs> I don't play no games. You've got to be shitting me. You've got to be shitting me. Well, we got him. We got him. I thought I was going to be a goner there. Fuck, I didn't think hopping over that thing was going to give away my position. That was totally my fault. Not, not very smart. All right, so we got to free these men. All right. Can you move? I get your ass gone. Understood. Okay, where's the other guy? Let me just free them. I don't know if it does don't anything for around. me, but just go. Better than nothing. Ooh, we got some ammo supplies here. What is that? Dude, we have never used an assault rifle in this game. What? Is that a mail room back there? Inspection station. We review every piece of mail leaving and entering the country. How else would we keep an eye on all those common sympathizers? Yeah. How well? <laughs> you blink, you die. Stupid. Paradise Lincoln Clay. <laughs> Fucking smart mouth cocksucker. Found him. Come help me. Oh, that guy didn't die. I thought he died. Shit. They're in the wind. I'll put one in his ear. Oh, come on now, man. Come on now, son. I don't know what it is, but this is it's very similar to the original game, but it's so so fun. Like, I don't know. It feels different in a way. Do not touch that. Fine, I won't. There, I touched it. Here. Uh, there. Right there. Wait, what am what am I doing? Let me let Let's try out this assault rifle. Whoa, what the fuck, dude? Jesus Christ. Oh, you dead now, boy? This is the last moment of your mission. This is the gun that I wanted from the beginning in the original game and I was never able to use it. I was only able to use SMGs and stuff like that and marksman rifles. Oh, hi guys. You did. Hold on, hold on. Get this dog fucker off me. Who's dog fucker? <laughs> Paradise Lincoln Clay, bitch. Don't forget the name. Here. He's in my sight. Come here. Come here, wait. Full of ways. Somebody else. I love how you shoot some once with an assault rifle and it sounds like it's a shotgun, but it's not. And I also love how these characters just get frozen in time. Quite hilarious. Medicine cabinet. I'll take that. Out to the back we go. You stepped in it now. Motherfuckers over here. Bro, come on, Let's son. This train all, the way to the end. all the way to the end? Okay. Why not? We can ride it all the way to the end. Security door. You hang on to it. I'll slide on the open open free from the other side. You got it? Yeah. You got it? But make it snappy. That reminds me of uh, The Last of Us. Teamwork. 
Mind telling me why the CIA needs a compound like this in New Bordeaux? Data sorting, signal traffic decoding, off of the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. We're snooping on our enemies and our friends. It's the friends who fuck you the worst. Very true. This is crazy. This is literally an underground fucking facility. Yeah, oh. There's no safe. There's no safe. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Johnny. Get out of us. One last chance. What's it going to be? Don't tell that cocksucker anything. You gotta stand strong. Oh, it's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> show me where the safe is before I blow your fucking head off. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, you fucking coward! He's gonna kill you regardless! Attaboy. <laughs> How's the hand? How's the face? <laughs> Tell me, who's your colorful friend? I'm the motherfucker who's gonna shove his colorful foot up your ass. <laughs> oh, I like him, Johnny. He's a keeper. Take what you want and go. Jackpot. Fuck. Now what? I'll tell you now what. Come here. What? Oh, just get up. Ah. 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 So long, Johnny. Wow. Fucking bastard. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Aldridge. Maybe. Maybe not. Fuck! We got company. Come on, guys. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Oh, this guy's up top, too. Get rid of this guy up here. was after there's got to be a key card around here somewhere check the desks the bodies everywhere okay find the key card god damn it Fuck. my desk is probably gonna be on a body on. Open, god damn it. who knows Ugh. or or Ugh. i thought i saw the prompt there what about upstairs anything upstairs Oh, here it is. More people. Oh my, oh my God. Well, that's a full fucking truck. You know what they say? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> Bitch. Come on, stupid. Got him. Wait, get over here and get this door open. God damn it. What do you take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. Fuck. What the hell is this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldridge talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana, but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident Devochka. 
which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dvochka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldridge gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. <laughs> so if Aldridge took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. We got it. So typically, this is meant to be there played. Four-man crew on the plane. Uh huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Piaz came to the states. Where's Piaz now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store in Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out. He doesn't even know it. Then I guess we better get to Piaz before Aldridge does. Hmm. This man, Connor Aldridge. When did you first meet him? June 1954. We went into Guatemala as part of PB Success, and then we went our separate ways and ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldrich was very successful in infiltrating the NVA. So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead. Doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. I guess that's how he dies. <laughs> I need to call this in the Langley. Meet me in the French ward and we'll track down the pilot. All right. I was going to say, normally this DLC is meant to be played within the story. <clears throat> so, like, you play the story and you do these and they kind of match with the story. If you play them at a certain or, you know, at a certain time during the actual main story. Uh, but typically, I just like to do the main story no matter how it is. Because that's originally how the game comes out. And then I'll tackle DLCs. But it does make more sense. Or so I've heard that, you know... If you play it again alongside with the story like at the same time because right now typically we finish the game and lincoln clay you know he left he left the, the, the state the country whatever it is but then he's back so again it's not really in chronological order right here that's why we call him paradise lincoln clay because he's he was on a vacation man he came back he's good Go. We need to get Alrighty. One of my guys picked up chatter on the wire. A crew of Aldrich's men are moving towards Piaz as we speak. Think you can get us there ahead of them? I'm up for trying. Good. Let's go. Man, this DLC the is. The store Piaz works out of is up in Frisco Fields. A place called Wash Rose. Yeah, I've heard of it. You'll be there before you know it. This DLC is like non-stop. Exactly old money shop like West Rose end up employing a Cuban exile worker for the CIA. Old money comes from the rusty behind the wheel, Lincoln. Anyway, old money comes with a lot of old secrets and ten thousand taxpayer dollars each month. These motherfuckers call me a criminal. <laughs> come on, come on! My grandmother can drive faster than this. Well, let's go get the old bag and see what she can do. 
There we go, boys. Watch the road. No sign of Aldridge's mercs. This hour, Paez should be on duty with the rest of the janitorial staff. Let's get in there and find him. Let's get it. Yeah, as I was saying, the DLC feels like all the missions are like, like old school classic mafia. No. We're closed. Motherfucker, do we look like we're here to buy a goddamn blender? <laughs> Paez, where is he? Look. Last time I saw him, he was on the third floor. Thanks, buddy. Motherfucker, oh, do we look like we're here to buy a motherfucking blender? Everything should clear out. There's some real assholes on their way here. Motherfucker. Some of this shit costs more than I take home in a year. Yeah. But you spend it on cheap booze and loose women. The and booze loose women. is never cheap. So this is like some sort of mall. Wow. Hey, pal. Get out of here. Cops are on their way. They know about you. Oh, shit. Thanks. <laughs> they know about you. you. Better run, little boy. You better run. Ah, this is this is pies, right? Yeah. You buy it? Depends. Who the fuck is asking? Two motherfuckers who are trying to keep your ass alive. We need to move. Now. Hmm. How convenient. He turned off the lights. Quiet as a mouse. Quiet as a mouse. Okay, well, they're, they're, they're here already. Oh, no, no, no. No more time. No more being quiet. It's go time, bitch. Oh, they got flashlights, too. Which makes it harder for us. Don't you dare call me an animal. You are. about you a bunch of your cubano pals and one goddamn nuke oh and i can assume that they want me dead and you want me alive you most well, no damn, shit brother. let's go baby man this this ar is fucking lethal dude when you're reloading and they keep shooting you it is nerve-wracking bro Bro, fucking A, you see what I mean? These guys are lethal. Man, let, me, let me get some health. Hold on. Damn, these guys are ruthless. I got that cash too. Hey. Okay. Get myself some, myself some health. I'm not gonna let one. <laughs> this guy's a gangster, though. Oh, he's a gangster, though. He a gangster, gangster. Yeah, cuz you did. <laughs> don't make me bring out my inner gangster, bro. You don't want this slang coming out of the mouth. Oh. Oh, oh. Dude, relax, man. I'm trying to reload here. I mean, they're all dead, most oh, except this guy. Well, he's being a pain in the butt. I'm gonna rush him. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna beat his ass. Oh God! It didn't shock him, but it sure acts like one. No argument for me. All through here. Yeah. Gentlemen, I think we found our ride out of here. Pius, you're riding shotgun. Lincoln, I'm on the team. You read my mind. What the frick is this? What? You got I see that. Lay down some fire. Oh my god. Bro, what? Bro, what? This is crazy. Uh, the door's gonna make 
me replace this uniform. Esos cabrones. Ah, coño. Ah, on the right. <laughs> coño. On the right. Blow that shit up. Yo, what the hell? Hit the driver, hit the driver, hit the driver, hit the driver, hit the driver. I think I'm gonna need a doctor now. Anybody else? Anybody else? How about you, old lady? Can you imagine walking down on the sidewalk on a nice, like, Friday evening, and you're just minding your business, some dudes in a fucking tank like this from the turret, attached to the back, come and start shooting your ass. You're, you gotta be like, whoa, what, 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 what I do? What the fuck? I don't know. I'd be, well, I'd probably be dead, but when I die, I'd probably think to myself, what, 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 what happened? You know? I don't suppose say either of you is a doctor. Ah, oh, the turret guy. Knocked him out of the turret. Oh, hell yeah. Hell fuck yeah! Woo! Everybody gonna die! That's the last of them! Pius, how you feeling? Uh, anybody else cold? Hold tight. <laughs> He's gonna Get die on us. Up. Oh, he gonna die. We need to get him inside. Hold on, buddy. We brought you a live one. Yeah, I can see that. Jesus Christ. What the fuck happened to you guys? One of Aldridge's men clipped him. Oh, God, I don't want to die. You're not going to die. <sighs> Tell me your name. Yo, Ruben. Right, Ruben, well, lucky for you, I've had my fair share of battlefield medals. Do you know what that means? No. Things are going to be just fine. Looks like the bullet went clean through. All right, move your hand. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. Hey, your plane. Where is it? There was a storm. Yeah, we know about the storm. Where'd you go down? Last readings was uh, 22.5 degree latitude and 87.9 uh, 87, 87 degree longitude. Where the fuck were you heading west? After that shit with, with Kennedy, Khrushchev told Fidel to return the warhead. He didn't want to send with the disassembled missiles, so we arranged to meet the Russians uh, at an airstrip uh, outside of Mexico City. Perfect. Thanks, Paez. I'm Gago and tu madre. <laughs> huh? Sure. Look, I'm gonna get us a boat. You meet me when you're ready. You got this? Yeah, go on. Get your boy here patched up and out of town. He's drinking the booze. Hey, hey. <laughs> what is going on? So now we're, this is probably. Oh shit. Is it here? Boats fueled, our course charted. Ready when you are, Captain. Right then. Let's go get that motherfucker. Let's go get that motherfucker. What the fucker? Oh, snapadillo, crocodilio. Leaving New Bordeaux. You're now leaving. You will not return until Donovan have... You and Donovan have dealt with Connor Aldridge. And the nuke. Bro. So sick. All right, let's get it. Yo, this is so sick. That motherfucker better still be there. He will be. Has to be. All right, man, enough. We were running all over the goddamn place. It's about time you tell me what went down between you and Aldridge. 
1963. I'd been in country a little under two years. Uh, that's before the face scar. On day, John. Chong Shin Shack. Stay out of this, Johnny. That's not exactly my style. Chong's not coming. What did you do? Let's just say Chong had a little accident. Fell down a very deep well. But not before he spilled all your dirty little secrets. Like how you've been feeding intel to the NVA? U.S. government executes traitors, you know that, right? Fuck you. I'm hoping they'll hang you. But I will settle for a firing squad. Let's go. Going at this to his hand. Uh, I'm gonna need something juicy to suit things over with the NVA. So why don't you tell me where those Saw Recon teams are headed? <laughs> you really think that I didn't pass on what Tron told me? Right now, every morn in your little circle jerk is being rounded up. I always thought the company was halfway decent at screening out dumbasses. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. Uh, that's funny. That's real funny. <laughs> Wait, what the heck happened? Before he could go to work on me, a couple MPs showed up. They heard the shot and came running. And Aldridge escaped. He's a slippery little fucker, I'll give him that much. Wow, what a story, huh? Oh, look at this. Holy small. Oh. Whoa. Come on. Let's go find that goddamn piss ant. Damn, what a fucking island, dude. Oh. Oh, licking Clinton fucking around with the crazy. Oh, this is just like Red Dead, bro. <laughs> this is exactly. Welcome to paradise. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is so beautiful here. Let's see, what boat is this? Let's move to high ground, get eyes on the situation. Got intel on this place. We used to have a decent fishing industry, but that died off a while ago. Residents relocated to the main. for a quick bath, that's all. Okay, we're good. Just a little quick bath. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Need a target taken out? Okay, we already know that. Get to the high ground. Bro, this is wild. So cool. I heard it was a whole squad of motherfuckers who swooped in and grabbed by it. No, that's a load of shit. It was two guys. You're telling me that two guys took out that many of our men. I'm telling you, it was two guys who took out that many of our guys. And it's those same two men who are likely heading here. God damn. You're just full of good news, aren't you? It's a gift. It's a gift. <laughs> yes, it's a gift indeed. Donovan. What the hell are you doing, bro? Are you going to help or not? This is exactly like Red Dead Redemption 2, like the island. Keep your eyes on the town of Hermosa Pez, or what remains of it anyway. Looks like Aldrich's merc set up camp by that old church. Someone must be in charge down there. God, I wish I freaking owned an island like this. Looks 
like they got some nice little getaway home. Nah, I'm just gonna go give him a hug. Roger, Roger. Just gonna give him a hug. Just gonna give him a hug. That's it. Just a nice little hug. Got some medicine. I have none. Right, let's go up through here. Four people coming up ahead. I'm telling you, everybody's got a scam. Even that fucking kid. Nah, man, he wouldn't do something like that. Fuck, oh, man! It's clear, baby. That's the guy we gotta interrogate. A commander. We gotta be careful with that guy. He's got a fucking turret over there. What? Why is it not? Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna follow you. This is a good move right here. Quiet as a mouse. Go inside here. Oh, he's gonna see that body. Somebody get you. Jesus, Mary, Joseph. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Fuck. Nope. Oh well. That only lasted that long. This also reminds me of the uh, Mafia 2 section. When you're like in the army and shit. <laughs> Shut your ass up, bro. Let me get the adrenaline shot real quick. Blast this fucking head oh, he saved my life. About time you do something. Sheesh. I grenade came in clutch though for the turret guy. Where's the rest of your crew? <laughs> Clearing up ahead. Do maybe three clicks. Thanks. Typical clay. Lincoln clay. Some respect on my name, biatch. Big money. Drive to the clearing. Really? Okay, let's drive to the clearing then. Find the crash site. Let's go. Get in, Donovan. Damn it. We're in paradise right now, baby. Just soak it all in. Enjoy while you can, because then we got to go back to Louisiana. Not gonna lie, if I lived in Louisiana and experienced everything that Clay has experienced, I, and I find this island, I, I tell Jonathan, hey, listen, man, I love you and all. You, you're going back by yourself. I'm staying yeah, yeah. here. So, what happens if Aldrich gets out in the wild? According to the Mad Doctor, the only thing keeping us from full scale nuclear annihilation is knowing there's enough nukes between us and the Soviets to wipe out the planet. Mutually assured destruction. Mad, it's our failsafe. But if a single nuke falls into the wrong hands, some rogue actor, that's where the boat starts tipping, and all bets are off. What you're saying is you have no idea. Not a goddamn clue. Alright, here we go. To the right. This, this this island it was just, just completely unexpected the fact that we can come here in a game like mafia like it just seems so off but it's it's a thing and it's it's pretty awesome get to the plane you got a plane i can get up on that ridge over there and catch those assholes off guard and may save us some trouble all right hey guess that leaves give me a hand up Again, Uncharted vibes. Oh, hey. Watch the personal space. Hmm. 
get to the plane. Okay. Oh, we're going by ourselves now. Ah, okay. God damn. From here, that plane looks like it's barely holding together. Oh, come on. You scared? Motherfucker, you know how I feel about planes. Yeah. But this one's already crashed. Fuck you for even saying Eyes that. on a Merc. Putting him down. Oh, snap. He's not making it off the island. Jesus, man. Donovan's a monster. God damn it, white boy. Bro, what the heck? Alright, search the crash site. This is my time. Oh, man. There's a turret here. Resist, brother, oh. resist. Shit. Okay, fine. I'll cover you from here. Throw me a signal if you want me to open fire. Roger. Fuck it, bro. We got caught. Got nowhere to go. We got caught. We got now caught. That's right. That's right, baby. That's right, Donovan. Let it fucking rain. Let it rain, baby. Let it fucking rain. Oh, I'm on fire! Ah! Where's the adrenaline shot? Let me get it. <laughs> Bro, he's going crazy. I have no idea how he didn't die from that explosion. Now you want to come down when I'm in the middle of the shit? But oh, you know what? You, you get a special grenade. Let's get it. All right, Donovan, blow that up just in case. And let me get this extra adrenaline shot. Yep. After you, Pansy. He beat us here. Well, he couldn't have gone far with that thing. Don't fucking move. The two of you. Turn around slowly. Where's the warhead? Mr. Aldrich is going to be real happy to see the two of you. Hey, shit for brains. I asked you a goddamn question. Where's the nuke? Ask me again, boy. Oh, you call it boy. 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 Please. Shit. Don't kill me. So, what's Aldridge doing? With the war! <laughs> <laughs> Out. 
All right, how are we getting over there? How are we getting over there? I guess we got to push little by little when he stops firing. Yeah. We got this. We got this, man. I already know what I'm going to do. So what, bro? Bullshit. Come on with the fucking bullshit. You know, now that I think about it. Now that I think about it. I, I don't want to kill him like that. Now that I think about it. Now that I fucking think about it. There are no dominoes. Get on the turret. Which is going to be on that vehicle. Alright guys, we're going to end it here. And we'll continue this DLC on the next episode. If you'd like to see another episode up ASAP. Let me know in the comments. Drop it a like. I think this is very fun. And I'm impressed. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Catch you later.